Hey YouTube, Bushidomaru here and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about synthesizer and woodering waves. I will give you a few tips and tricks on why you should use it, for what you should use it, and should you use it at all. So if you're kind of new to the game, if you haven't been using the synthesizer yet, I highly recommend watching this video till the end because I will give you an extra bonus tip on why I think the synthesizer is OP and why people are not using utilizing it properly. So stick to the end of the video. If you do like this content, make sure you thumbs up this video and I'll see you in a second. Alrighty, so synthesizer. First of all, Small disclaimer, if you have been playing the game a little bit, you know what the synthesizer is. If this is a topic too easy for you, you don't have to watch this video. It's more of a beginner's guide, right? So let's talk about where can you find the synthesizer and, or you may be seen it in Jinsho over here. If you zoom in uh, the main city, when you start, you will be around Jinsho and here over here with this icon over here, this is the synthesizer. You can find it over there. Or I am actually in Mount Filament, the new area, which was released actually a couple of days ago. It is in Hongzhen, Hongsheng. My pronunciations are very bad, but it's over here. Same synthesizer, same thing. But let's in general talk about the synthesizer and what it is used for. The synthesizer is being used for three different things. For potion making. Over here, you have the first menu. This is what you open up. You'll see most of the things locked. We will talk about this in a second. Then the second thing is for constructing uh, certain materials that you will be needing for either further synthesizing or for crafting some kind of crafting materials, enhancing materials, tuning. And then we have purification items. Those are the items that you use for creating your res resonators in terms of levels. Let's talk about the, the potion making. There's three, a, a few different types of potions. But before you start crafting any of these, I want you to pay attention to one detail. And one detail over here is on top this little icon. If you click on it and in the beginning, it will look like this, right? This is the first level of synthesis level. Basically, when you level up to your proficiency to 500 and proficiency, you level up by crafting multiple times the same item. You'll see even how much proficiency experience you're going to get. But basically, you need to start crafting a certain item. You get the proficiency experience. You level up to the next level and you unlock not only asteroids, but you get certain recipes that will be useful for you for the long run, plus a, a little bit of small rewards. I purposely for this video didn't level up all my uh, proficiency uh, for you to show up uh, to show you how I would do it in terms of leveling my proficiency. Here you will see the proficiency, the total proficiency that I have for a certain item, right? So if if I want to click over here, for example, and I want to craft the basic uh, energy back, which is basically re recovering 100 HP, most of the times you will never use this. You'll never use this because it's 100 HP. You just have another character that's going to heal you way more than just 100 HP. But anyways, here we need proficiency experience. Now, constructing, on the other hand, will not give you any proficiency experience. Keep that in mind. Let's say I want to craft a bunch of this fusion resistance spray, right? So if I want to craft fusion resistance or, for example, I want to craft any other of these materials, I need a bunch of base fluid, a bunch of base fluid. We go on this constructing uh, side over here. We craft these, craft uh, the base fluids. And now I can basically go and craft these over here. The resistances, I wouldn't craft any resistances, potions or whatsoever right now. Most of the times I would actually look for some kind of um, damage boosting, you know, potions or anything like this, right? So I would just go and, for example, right now, since I'm playing a bunch of Jinshi and she's my main DPS, I will boost actually a spectral damage bonus with 15%. So I'm just going to craft over here, uh, right? I'm going to craft 10 pieces of these and this will cap out, by the way, 
my proficiency over here. Um, and this is what I'm going to do to level up further my synthesis level. And I'm almost at the next level, right? So the potions over here, as you can see, they do have a different type of, um, what is it? A different type of pool. So make sure every time when you're crafting anything, take a look at the proficiency if you want to level up your synthesis level. So let me grab... A few of these uh, spectral, we got the spectral resistances, but let, let's actually get some havoc resistances. And over here, I want to craft as much as I can. Those, by the way, take the havoc ones, all right? I don't have much materials for them, but let's grab this 150 over here. This will get me to the next level. Boom, I am on the next level. I level up my synthesis level over here i get a couple of rewards a bunch of new recipes good stuff right so the next level is going to be at 3k over here the synthesis level now now these are still locked for me right for example st string solvent grants the selected resonator in the party one concerto energy per per second for 180 seconds effective only on your own resonators in co-op interesting if you are running for example um concerto energy on your characters used to immediately heal 100 of a selected downed resonator this is super op but as you can see this requires also the recipe and this recipe we get by unlocking actually synthesis premium revival and herald recipe so it's on the next level on the um, yeah right so here we can um, level up these things right so i need to level up a little bit more so i will get where i can on the 300 um, synthesis experience proficiency experience excuse me uh with all these uh, where i have the materials and i will very shortly run into shortage of this fuel and i'm already the base fuel i'm i'm low on it so how do we get the base fuel these materials over here you can get at the shifang pharmacy so let's go very quickly to the pharmacy and this is in jinsho by the way let's go and meet up with coco right boop, 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 boop. all right we need to jump down a bit more and here is the pharmacy and let's grab a little bit more of these now keep in mind this costs money so if you have enough money you can get some now keep in mind the synthesizer and the store both share a weekly cooldown so for me right now it is saturday i in a couple of days on monday this will reset and you will be able to buy more of certain materials whatever you need Right. here by the way you can also buy six per week of the base fuel if necessary and for example a bit of the higher level fuel right um which by the way also is a good idea if you would like to purchase more for the future uh, for higher crafting uh, and since this is shared on a weekly cooldown and if you want to stock up a little bit of the extra materials here is the extra tip the extra tip is buy these off on a weekly basis if you have enough silver, right? These materials over here, 18K, I'm just going to buy them right now because it's on a weekly. I spent like 30K. I have enough silver for the time being. I don't need much more for the time being. So this is the extra tip for the synthesizers. Just go and buy off the materials if you have the money from the pharmacy as this shares a weekly a weekly cooldown and you can prepare for the late game buffs and revives and heal ups and potions right now if you have the money now be smart with your silver because you will need a bunch of this silver for future upgrades so if it's okay for you to spend 20k 10 to 20k per week do it wisely right let's go back to the synthesizer right now i do have a little bit i will craft a little bit more of the base fuel i'll do a little bit more crafting so that i can at least level up 
my synthesis level to the higher level and then i will be able to slowly start crafting certain things now here is where if you have been asking yourself the question for example let me move my camera again if you have been asking yourself the question okay why i keep on gathering frogs lizards and stuff like that where and how do i start using the butterflies and stuff like that but look at this the moral tape tablets right allow the selected resonator in the team to reduce the vibration strength of the targets by a certain percentage when they trigger counterattack within 60 seconds only effective on your own resonators in co-op mode now i never tested this out but this might be something interesting and worth testing out why not uh, then you have, for example, this one, which requires the blue butterflies and the lizard allows you to select resonators in the team to regain 20 considerable energy when releasing intro kills within 60 seconds. So, so there are some small items that you could, you know, test around for late game fights for, for whatever different reasons, right? And here you can, you can craft them. Used to grant... For example, selected resonators, immunity to fatal damage and heal 25% of resonators max HP lasting for 60 seconds. This means that you cannot get one shot and you, for example, are on your level 4 challenge with a boss. And for example, you have a strong resonator, but let's say you misclicked, you switched, you didn't dodge on time, you didn't counter attack on time and you get, you know, beat up. This item is going to save your butt from a from a one shot, right? So it, it's it's going to help. It's going to heal you up from your max EHP 25%. It's going to last for 60 seconds. Good. It's an interesting item. And as you can see, this over here, this is one of the items that I just purchased from a pharmacy. Um, and I didn't craft myself. So I did save a little bit on this. Uh, crafting a couple of these is going to give me 200 and 120 proficiency on this specific item uh, there are some interesting items in the game right this for example the the trainer solvent is increasing all resonators echo skills in the party by 40 percent for 180 seconds right good enough for a boss fight and increases resonators echo skills echo skills if you have good echoes if you need to bump up that extra damage is 40 percent right so if we have to recap the synthesis the synthesizer in general the first tab the potion making is the the most interesting one and my tip over here is try first of all in the beginning right in the early game you don't need these any in that much but for bo boss encounters holograms any type of encounters those items can be actually pretty life-saving and useful if used properly and this is something the game gives you basically for free because you're grinding off these materials from certain areas you're grinding off you know you you click you run around exploring the world you gather up wizards butterflies flowers uh ores and everything possible right so th those are just things that i've gathered this particularly not that much but if i look for example these i have 46 just by running around a couple days right so just look around where you can get a a little bit of uh, proficiency experience so that you can at least work towards getting this um let me show you this experience over here up it shows you the total experience um and right work work towards it here for example i can craft three of these and this is going to give me used to immediately heal 25 percent of selected downed resonators max hp so that's a downed resonator. That's a revive, advanced revival inhaler. It's not the 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 the, the previous one. The free version, which we crafted uh, previously, is this one, and it revives you with a hundred HP. In most cases, by the time you swap out to this revived one, it dies again. Like I, this happened to me many times. So. The basic material is not that interesting to me anymore, right? So I would rather craft the higher tier one, right? This would require the fluid stabilizer. The fluid stabilizer um, 
is being crafted by getting these materials over here, a little bit more of these. Again, you, you could grab these from uh, the pharmacy, or you can just look for them in the world, central plains and anywhere, right? So you just gather your flowers, you gather everything that you do in the game, and you make sure that you're leveling up um, everything that you can, right? I'm gonna just craft three of these right now to get a little bit more experience. Let me see what else can I craft over here. The higher level ones require a little bit more materials. This I have maxed out. This I could craft over here to 300 proficiency. I don't want to waste more. I'm just looking at the proficiency. Boom, another 300 on top. What is this? Used to heal 20% of a selected resonator's max HP plus an extra 1.5k. This effect only applies to your own resonator. So that's a advanced heal. 1.5k is way better than just 1k, right? So, for example, if I do this, I craft th three of these. So, I won't need most of these right now, but I'm just doing this for the sake of me leveling up this proficiency over here so that I can um, have more proficiency EXP um, and I get the higher level so that I can unlock. Oh my god, I need just 10 more proficiency. So that I can unlock uh, the higher level. Let me actually um, level up one of these. Let me see what I want. Um, this is actually a pretty good one because look at this. Used to heal 3% of the selected resonator's max HP. Plus an extra 300 HP per second. Per second over 30 seconds. So this is going to give me a little bit of experience. Let me craft just one so I can have this over here. And Kadoosh, we have the next level, the next synthesis level, a level up, good stuff. I unlock the premium nutrition block formula and I unlock string solvent recipe, which is concerted energy stuff, right? I have one more level to go. So another 3k of experience and uh, my synthesis level is maxed out. I'll get the last um, recipe over here. And that's going to be for uh, the drummer solvent and from the premium revival inhaler. So my idea is to definitely go and craft these in the future. Uh, and so that I can instantly revive uh, my resonators with full HP in certain fights, right? If it's a life-changing fight that you have with a certain boss and you don't want to waste your you feel that that's a good try and you just died because of a stupid mistake this is a pretty nice and neat item why not right so here it is how you can use the synthesizer uh, a little bit focused into the direction of late game um craft yourself some items that are going to be useful for you with damage resistances or damage boosts right there is a certain items that will boost your damage this is an additional 15 percent on your spectral damage bonus that's a damage bonus right um it echoes for example cap out uh on 30 percent spectral damage and if you eat that you add 15 percent on top on this 30 percent so it's 45 percent boost just by having this potion on plus the echo 45 percent damage increased on your spectral energy so if you Build up your characters properly. If you use the proper setup and proper boosts, I highly recommend you uh, playing around with these and just use the materials that you have been using. Don't forget that the refresher over here, again, like I said, in the pharmacy is on a weekly basis. And yeah, every Monday, certain materials or certain things that you crafted and yeah, you know, it needs a reset these reset every Monday. So here it is. If this was useful for you, let me know in the comments below. I would really appreciate a like and subscribe to the channel. I hope this helps. See you in the next one.